Hey guys, so if you're using in-ear monitors with your band, you're probably familiar with how you have to have a wireless router in order to control your mixes. So your router connects to your digital mixer, everyone connects to that router, and they're able to do their own mix on their phone or their tablet. That's the way that I do it in basically all the bands that I play in. I've always wondered why they don't make a rack mount Wi-Fi router. Well, I found one, finally, and I've been using it over the last couple of weeks and it's worked awesome. This is by a company called Swiss Sonic, and this is their Professional Router 2 Mach 2 is what it's called. And it is now my new Wi-Fi router for my in-ear monitor setup. So it only takes up one U of rack space and now it lives in my rack case with my Behringer X32 rack and my Sennheiser EW300 in-ear monitor system. I don't know about you guys, but I try to have it as simple as possible with my setup try to just basically open it up, turn it on, plug in a few things and you're ready to go. And this has been great for helping me achieve that goal. This thing was really easy to set up. I just did it all on my phone. In the instruction manual, it says only for Android or Windows, but I did it from an iPhone. It was super easy. It's actually one of the easiest routers I've ever set up. It has the antennas in the front, which is awesome. This is a dual band router, so it transmits in 5G and on 2.4 gigahertz, but they have antennas in the front and you can see that it's labeled, here's a 2.4 gigahertz antenna and then here's a 5G antenna. Screw them in in the front. And that's what's really cool about this system is that I was looking, you know, this was the old router that I was using and it worked great. But the thing is, is that, you know, this is how, these are how the antennas come up like this. So I was looking at, you know, like getting like a shelf, like a one U shelf and putting that in here. But the thing is, I wouldn't be able to get the antennas up. So I'd have to get like a drawer that moved this thing forward that allowed me to bring these antennas up. And there's six of them, but you, you get the idea. You wanna have the antennas out for better reception. Clear line of sight's always best with wireless stuff. So this router, the Swissonic one, is listed at about $170, which does seem like it's a little bit expensive, but between getting like a router and then like a one U shelf, you know, like a drawer type shelf, it's basically the same price anyways for like a decent router. So to me, it was completely worth it, especially if it saves me time with my setup. Thing that's also awesome about this is powered with just a standard IEC cable. No more weird power adapters or anything like that, which also keeps it from being unplugged. It's a lot more difficult to unplug an IEC cable than it is just to have these simple routers with just a simple plug that's easily unplugged. In the back, it has two LAN ports and one WAN port. And then on the front, it has two additional LAN ports, which is a cool design. But like I said, I've been using this over the last couple of weeks. I think I've had it for about two months now. And I've been using it a lot with my 90s trio, and it's worked great. But I really wanted to wait and test it where I played with like a full band. And about a week ago, I was able to do that finally with a six-piece band that I play with. The show was probably the worst loading I've ever done in my life. The show was such a pain to set up. However, the router worked awesome. All six musicians were connected to the network. My singer had two devices connected to the network. I also had two devices connected to the network. It never dropped out on me. No one ever had problems staying connected. It worked awesome. That was kind of the final test. I've never heard of this company, to be honest. So the only place that I was able to find this was on Tommen Music. I think that's how you say it. It's not available on Sweetwater. It's not available on Amazon. It's only available on this site. But I ordered it from it. It was great. It was easy. And I will post the purchase link down below if you want to purchase this for yourself. FYI, it is an affiliate link. I did sign up for their affiliate program. So if you use that link, it's a free way to support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to use that link. Using that link is a free way to support the channel. So I would appreciate it if you do decide to get this based on this video. But that's basically it. A quick video today. I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys found this helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to support the channel and feed the YouTube algorithm gods and all that. If you guys know of any other devices that do this, please leave a comment down below. I'm definitely curious to check them out. I know there is one other one by Waves, but it was $600, whereas this one's $170, so this was the obvious choice. But if you guys know of any other cool stuff like that, please leave a comment down below. So I do have a video about my compact portable in-ear monitor rack setup. I just said how much I like to just have everything connected, but also I can't fit these massive rack cases, you know, in my little Kia car. So I have to find a way to have it a little more compact. So I do have a video specifically about my compact in-ear monitor setup. I also have a video about 10 items that have helped me out with my in-ear monitor setup. So check out both of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Yule Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with more gear suggestions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.